Another narrated hunt. I got on full Magnum Allo. I'm probably gonna keep that on because I'm at the point. Well, y'all already know I'm at end game. I'm doing an anomaly quest, right? So I'm probably just gonna keep the Magnum Allo set. I like it a lot. Uh, I like Magnum Allo's gun. I like having access to spread, pierce, and uh, sharpener. You know, I, I didn't see where well, a lot of people like sharpener really ain't worth it. Sharpener is really, really good on the light bow gun. I can't speak for the heavy bow gun. Haven't played with the heavy bow gun, but on the light bow gun, I always keep sharpener. And the reason why I keep sharpener is because I love fanning vault on the light bow gun. Like that's my go-to. I always spam that. Jump, jump off in the air with the wire bug, get overhead of the monster, and shoot that wiring blast down on top of him, and then use sharpener. Sharpener is like no matter where you hit the monster it's going to hit that wiring blast yeah you can use pierce to do it you can use spread to do it but why waste ammo using those when you can just use sharpener sharpener from the way it look it seemed like sharpener bounce inside the monster you know i'm not 100 percent sure about that but that's what it looked like at least when i use it because it's like no matter where you shoot it it's going to hit that wiring blast so I use a uh, sharpener for utility. And, you know, as that brings me to why I just love the light bow gun so much. It reminds me of Ranger and Magic Archer in the first Dragon's Dog. That's the, that's the play style that it reminds me of. You know, Ranger had sleep arrows, poison arrows, blast arrows, petrification arrows. You had all these different type of arrows to deal with different type of monsters. It was more arrows than that. You had silence arrows. It was, you know, a lot of y'all already played the first Dragon's Dogma, so y'all know. But if you never played the first Dragon's Dogma, then there you go. Uh, the reason it reminds me of Magic Archer because you can use elements. You know, it is one gun in the game that I know of I, I already did a video uh, with it, and that's a uh, Camellios' weapon, the Cursed Lamp, where you can have you have access to all the elements, like Magic Archer. And you know that's just one of my playstyles. You know I'm more of a utility support tank type of person. I'm not really running a tank with light bow gun. I know you can do it with heavy bow gun, so I probably will give heavy bow gun a shot. I mean. Wiles already said you can carry two weapons, so me, I'll probably be a light bow gun main, heavy bow gun on the side, because I do want to give heavy bow gun a shot. You know, I'm pretty sure it got a lot of utility and stuff, uh, just like light bow gun, just with being a tank as well, because I know you can put a shield on it. But one thing that I like to do is I like to restart a character and go back and see how powerful a weapon is at low rank you know I, I play so much dragons dog man i used to do that all the time you know with the vocations to see how powerful a vocation was at low level and i'm i do the same thing in monster hunter man i i restarted the game with a light bow gun and i just worked it all the way up here to master rank and it's, it's a very powerful weapon, especially if you already knew what the hell to do. Like, yeah, you can take normal ammo and kill monsters. Because I did. That's what I did. You know, I didn't know nothing about light bow gun. I had not never really played with it. But I took it and I used normal ammo to, you know, get through the game. You know, some of the hunts didn't really the hunts didn't take that long they didn't i mean i had like normal up normal rapid fire up on uh some armor pieces and stuff so you know i was just looking for those armor pieces that to help the, the normal ammo because I, I didn't know too much about spread and pierce and all that but man if i actually like go back and restart now but i'm not gonna do that but <laughs> If I actually went back and restarted now, man, I blow through it. Like when Wilds come out, I expect to blow through that game. Cause I know I'm taking like bow guns. And I can tell you now for Wilds, most of my time gonna be spent riding around the world collecting berries. 
Yeah, I already know they're gonna have places where you can just buy the ammo, but I'm a craft. <laughs> I'm a craft. I'm gonna start out crafting most of my ammo, cause man, that that, that stuff gets expensive. <laughs> it gets super expensive, man. So, and I think it's gonna be it's gonna be good doing it that way, so I can explore the entire world, you know, and know where stuff is. You know, if I, I'm pretty sure they have a way where I can mark it on the map. Like how I got it marked on this map in Rise, like all those dots are where I can collect latch berries, you know, stuff like that. So I'm gonna do the same thing for a while, you know, have it marked all over the map. If I'm fighting a monster somewhere and I see where I can grab some ammo real quick, I'm just ride over there and grab it. <laughs> so I can get back to crab. I'm gonna have to start showing the build on these narrated hunts. But this is a new series, you know. We're going to get everything together as we make more episodes. But one thing I always try to keep on the light bow gun is extend, evade extend. Like, evade window is nice. But I like evade extender a hell of a lot better. Like, if I have to choose between the two, I'm going to always go extender. And that's because if I see the monster about to attack, I could just put a huge gap between me and him to where like no matter what he about to do i won't get hit by it because i'm so far away and that helps out a lot when you fight big and aggressive monsters that don't give you room to breathe and knowing you have to get window to five is where extender is just through. so that's another reason i choose extender over evasion window. now ain't nothing wrong with running both you know if you can get both by all means do it but you know to be honest, I don't really care to run both because I feel like extender is just that powerful that evasion window doesn't matter. I have ran both before and I just feel like extender alone is enough. You know, yeah, you know, you get those extra frames with window. But if you already got evade extender, like I said, man, you you already out the way. Like there's no reason to have evasion window when you already so far away from the monster, he not gonna hit you no way. But that's gonna be it for me, man. Um, like I said, I gotta start showing the bill in these uh, narrated hunts. And I will start doing that, you know. We, we getting everything together as we go for these episodes, but anyway like and subscribe if you ain't comment down below if you don't cut on that notification bell because i got more coming and with that i'll see y'all later
Just safe with me! 